What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Krenak, Krenak Gaming here. And today we're going to go over what I believe are must-haves for the American Premium Tree. If you have some Golden Eagles, you know that there's a sale coming up. And I believe that these are vehicles which are must-haves for your lineup. And they're, they're not that many must-haves, but later uh, in the video we'll go over uh, nice-to-haves and collectibles. But first... Uh, before we do, I want to give a shout out to Bumzilla112. Uh, we recorded a video earlier, but because of sound on my end, it wasn't his problem at all. Uh, it was very difficult uh, to get my sound working, and that video I was not able to put up. I just didn't want to put it up with the sound the way it was. But if you are listening or you are watching this video, Bum, thank you so much for that help. You gave me a lot of good uh, pointers, and I hope you don't mind me using some of those that you made. Um, because I, I really kind of just want to get this video out there to kind of give you know people an idea of what they should be looking for, especially on the American tree with uh, with uh, respect to premiums and must have premiums. Um, I also want to do uh, Germany and the rest of the, the the trees. So hey, if you are listening, so if you want to get together, maybe try to do. Uh, Germany and maybe a couple of other trees I'm more than uh, down for it but again thank you for the help that you did and it wasn't intentional at all it just I'm just having problems with my sound on my end so <clears throat> anyway so uh, everyone let's go ahead and uh, and get started with my must-haves for the premium uh, tree on the American side all right, so the first vehicle we're going to take a look at in my must-have for premium vehicles in the American lineup. Now these, when I say must-have, I mean vehicles that are going to help you uh, silver line-wise, vehicles that are competitive at their BR, vehicles that um, you can take out and be successful in without too much uh, in the way of uh, struggles. Now, some of these vehicles you have to have a little bit more skill in, but for the most part, these are vehicles that help your lineup in terms of it helps to fill your lineup out uh, vehicles that in my opinion will gain you the most silver lions for your golden eagle spend and also vehicles that are essential to uh, to filling out uh, whatever you may be missing in terms of getting a complete lineup okay so the very first one we're gonna take a look at is the M4A5 Ram so it's at 3.7 and I believe this is a must-have for a couple of reasons for newer players, this is a good vehicle to sort of learn uh, what the upcoming Sherman, the upcoming Shermans are about. Uh, it gets a little bit more armor than, say, the M4 and uh, the M4A2 that also sits at 3.7. Now, this vehicle also fills out the American 3.7 lineup quite nicely. And when you're facing other players in this vehicle, you have decent armor to go against. Uh, whatever competitor that you're going to come across the 57 millimeter cannon it's decent at this bill at this tier 3.7 you can kill pretty much anything you come across the only problem that you may find is the kv1 and you know you're just going to have to learn where to shoot those vehicles and most players you know transmission housing or those two uh, lower right corners that surround the uh the gun mantlet uh but it's turn as far, as far as having decently sloped arm or decent arm and this one has it you have uh, kind of weird angles uh on the front of the vehicle uh you have some weak spots in the the driver and the machine gun hatch and then the, the transmission housing but for the most part with the weird angles and the really solid uh turret uh, protection this vehicle is pretty good for a, a newer player uh it's a bit forgiving but like i said again uh you kind of have to make your shots count when you're using those ap rounds because that's all you get are ap rounds and i believe the one you should be using on this one is the shot mark nine let me see yeah the shot mark nine 101 millimeters of pin at 500 meters so you should be using the shot mark nine and uh <clears throat> if you are new to the game or you're just trying to grind through that rank one two and get into rank three with the shermans then this is the vehicle i think you should have okay the first vehicle on my must-have list not the best one but the first one on my must-have list as we're going down the tech tree okay from rank one all the way to our rank six so the m4 a5 ram we're going to go ahead and get to the second vehicle on my must-have list and that is this boy my favorite tank in the game now this in my opinion is not just a premium but it's an essential vehicle for american 5.0 5.3 
5.7 this vehicle can be played all the way up until 6.3 now I accidentally took this vehicle into a 6.7 lineup and I was still able to get nine kills with it a couple of Panthers uh, I actually took out a Yag Tiger from the side I took all of those Panthers out from the turret uh, a T-34 100 I took out uh, nine kills in that game so anyway this in my opinion and in I think a few other people's opinion this is probably the best American premium in the game and it comes close to it, it you could arguably say that this is not just the best premium in the American tree but it's the best premium in the game and there's a few reasons for that first where it sits at the uh, at the BR at 5.3 as Bumzilla 112 said this vehicle sits at the sweet spot for for gaining SL okay this vehicle will you will gain Buku XL oh, I'm sorry silver lions with this vehicle I'm just an insane amount of silver lions you will gain with this vehicle uh, I think he he has an insane amount of uh, silver lions with this thing I have over 8 million myself with uh, this vehicle I, I do play it a lot it's I won't say it's a high skill vehicle but it's definitely a vehicle more for per people who are uh, moderate to medium uh, players experienced players uh, is is definitely for not for beginners because of the f uh, competition that you face um, and that you can face with this vehicle but and it's also not as forgivable as uh, uh, some of the uh, I would say some of the larger Shermans because of their uh, crew spacing the crew spacing in this one is a little they're a little bit closer uh, space than say what some of the larger Shermans are but you still get a five-man crew and you also don't get APCR with the 76 millimeter now you don't really need APCR unless you come across some of your tougher targets but even then uh, you really won't see any of those w until you get into like maybe 6.7 or you get a down tier 6.7 vehicle now Ferdinand's if you come across a Ferdinand well <laughs> Ferdinand's and IS2's are, 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 are your tough nuggets to crack um, but it's doable um, the best round that you're going to use is the M62 uh, APCBC round. Uh, this vehicle uh, it will basically destroy anything that you see with the APCBC round. It's the it's one of the American nuke rounds along with the M82. Okay, uh, it has solid armor up front at an angle, um, over 100 millimeters at an angle. The turret armor is decent. It's not great, but I have bounced 88. Uh, long 88s with this vehicle um, just just you're going to bounce some shots you're not going to use your armor uh, as you know as you would and say like a tiger or um, a tiger 2h or anything like that but the armor can save you okay because of the SL gain because of where this vehicle sits because the RP and because in my opinion this is the best Sherman in the game this is the best Sherman in the game okay so if you are someone looking for an American premium on sale and either you don't have this vehicle or you're trying to grind through the Shermans this is the one to get lower profile just as good on the speed better versatility good gun depression like all most American vehicles have very good gun depression you still get your 50 cal this thing plays like a t-34 but in my opinion better than a t-34 okay um, so this is a must-have on any American lineup at 5.0 up I even say up until uh, 6.0 you can even put this vehicle in at 6.0 and it still plays very well now of course you're gonna start to struggle around 6.3 and 6.7 but it is doable but you're really not looking to put this vehicle at that BR okay best American premium in the game t20 get it if you don't have it it's a fun vehicle it's fun at 5.3 you're going to come out with some amazing games when you learn how to use this vehicle it is a Sherman but better it is a t34 but better okay and a Russian t34 but better get this vehicle okay all right let's go on to the third and the last must-have on the American tree and one that's a little controversial we'll kind of go over the history of it uh, very quickly before we actually get into the vehicle and uh, that my friends is the t29 and this big boy right here okay this vehicle before it came out it was extremely controversial or when it actually released I'm sorry because a lot of people said this was pay to win um, 
you know, this vehicle uh, was one of those vehicles that was just, you know, armor. They were not people who made Germany. They were just not used to going against American tanks that had armor. And this was the very first tank in the game that if you came up against it, against the American line, uh, you had to actually know where to shoot this vehicle. You had to actually concentrate and not just point and click. And in my opinion, this vehicle is not the number one in the American tree simply because in order to have a competitive 6.7 lineup, you need this tank. I don't think a vehicle that you need should be in the premium lineup. It should actually be in the normal tech tree. If you want to have a competitive American 6.7 lineup, you have to buy this vehicle. That's just, it's as simple as that. The T-34 is good, but the reload is too slow, okay? This one has a slightly better reload. It still has good armor. You know, you're still going to get good armor up here. If, if most people now they know where to kill this thing it can still be bouncy a lot a lot you're still going to get a lot of bounces you're still going to let that armor work for you but the nuke round the round that this thing has um the apcb round uh apc the t13 apcbc round is just a monster when it goes off you're almost always nine times out of ten you're going to destroy the tank that you're pointing at okay uh you don't have to worry about too many things when you come against this uh when you are driving this tank is4s yes you can, you're gonna have you're gonna have a little trouble with is4s uh, that sit at uh 7.7 is3s will give you a little bit of trouble but really that's about it you can still take out t54s with this thing uh t54s can be a little um trolly at times but this is the second best tank in the american lineup second only to the t20 because this tank you need this tank to have a competitive 6.7 american lineup it complements 6.3 it complements all of the light tanks very very well you can bring this out with the m26 you know but this is the guy that you're going to bring out at american 6.7 if you want to compete okay very very good tank if it's on sale get it if you already have the t20 uh get this one okay if you don't have the t20 get the t20 and the t29 okay whenever you're short on sl then you need to bring out this vehicle play your few games and then you're going to start seeing that sl climb when you want to play 6.7 this is the vehicle you need to have in your lineup period okay that is my must have for the american tech tree the really quickly number three the m4a5 okay number two the t29 okay and the number one must have for the American tree, the T20, and I think the best premium in the American tech tree and quite possibly the best premium in the game. When you look at other premiums and you look at where they sit and what they're capable of comparatively um, to other tanks in the game, the T29, I believe, just outshines them all when you, when you talk about its capability, when you talk about its SL gain, the RP gain, the research. This is the vehicle that is the number one vehicle in the American tech tree for premiums. Get this vehicle, okay?